Good day, are you sick? Oh, look at that. Bottom right hand corner, that silly message popping up from some website I don't care. There's another one from a website I don't care about. Are you sick of those things? I know I am. So we've just finished a video explaining how to disable those granularly uh, and overall in Google Chrome. And now we're going to show you how to do it in our friend Microsoft Edge. If you are interested in the Chrome version, click the link in the top right hand corner. Now, as for Edge, Edge is Chrome, but it is a slightly different version of it and the settings are in slightly different places. So to keep it simple, we've created these two separate videos. So let's explain how this comes about firstly. So let's go off to a couple of sites that we just know are going to give us a message that says, hey, can we send you notifications? And because you're in a hurry, you're probably just gonna say yes. So let's go off to the Daily Mail. It's one I very much do not like. And as you can see, it immediately comes up with this, hey, can we send you notifications? And I'm gonna say aloud of that because I'm in a hurry and I'm not really paying attention. Uh, another one that'll do it is uh, Global News, which is a Canadian news site. Uh, when I say, you know, these sites will do it, so many sites do it. The vast majority of sites, I think, pop this up. And there it is. So again, I'm in a hurry and I'm not paying attention. And I just want this stupid thing to go away. So I click allow. But then what happens is a few days later, I start getting these pop ups every time I'm in my browser. and It's driving me crazy. So how do you fix that? Well, there's really two different ways to go about this. The first is to go into your browser, which we're going to show you and change the settings. The second is for some of the really big sites like YouTube, uh, you probably want to do it more granularly. So we're going to show you YouTube separately at the end of this video. So let, let's get started with how to turn it off for these generic websites, right? That we were just showing you. Uh, simple enough, go to the three dots in the top right hand corner, which is the settings and go down to actual settings. And then in settings, click on cookies and site permissions, and then scroll down if you don't see it to notifications. And if you want to turn off notifications on all sites, just click that link. Easy peasy. So you can see all of these sites that I have blocked already, uh, but there's these sites that I have allowed. So the Global News one I just did and the Daily Mail I just did with you. And uh, Kijiji, by the way, I do actually want to keep open and same with oilprice.com. In case you're wondering, Kijiji is a uh, a very, very popular yard sale type site, kind of like eBay without the fees. Um, so I want to keep that because I do list a lot of things on it and I do like having it pop up to say, hey, somebody sent you a message. But global news, I don't want. Now I can click on this, on the three dots at the end here, the ellipse, and I can click remove. And if I click remove, it'll set it back to default, which is when I go back to global news in the future, it will pop up again and it will say, hey, can we send you notifications? But I don't want that. I actually want to uh, select block, which will turn it off. Uh, so it's not back to back to default, it's actually blocking it. And the same thing, now global's fine, by the way, I don't have a problem with them, I just don't need the notifications. Um, Daily Mail, however, is a uh, news source, in, that's in quotes for sure, that I really have very little respect for. And so I really don't want anything from them. So again, instead of selecting remove, I'm gonna select block. I'm gonna just get rid of them. I don't want their stuff at all. Now you think, wonderful, I've turned off the alerts uh, for, for those sites, but you mentioned something about YouTube. How are we gonna handle YouTube? I'd like to interject for just 10 seconds and ask you to click like if you found this video useful. Our site is dedicated to explaining technology in simple ways and providing cookbook answers for technical problems. We spend a lot of time on Windows 10 and Windows Server. We spend a lot of time on Azure, Office 365, but mostly our products are about how-tos. Lots and lots of cookbooks, like how to uninstall something when it's stuck. If you would click subscribe, we would greatly appreciate it. It really helps us with the Google algorithm. Thanks for your help and back to the show. Well, let's just go off to YouTube. And in YouTube, there's some more granularity that you're probably going to want to deal with. So let me explain that. What you want to do to set your notifications in YouTube is to click the icon in the top right hand corner, which is likely your face, but it could be anything that you've set, or it might just be a generic icon if you've never set it up before. Then go down to settings, 
Then on the left side, click on notifications. And you'll see here I have, in my case, uh, my subscription set to not notify me. But let's say I had, say I'd subscribed to an awesome website like you are tech or partisan issues or some other site. Well, it's kind of nice to get uh, an alert uh, when they have something interesting to say. However, generally speaking, I don't want it. So it, normally I'm going to leave this at just don't send me a notification of what, to, the things that I've subscribed to. However, if I have that on or you have this on, you can be more granular about it by clicking on channels I'm subscribed to. And in here, you can select the sites that you are not interested in getting notifications for. So clarifying Catholicism. I have no idea why that's there. I have no recollection of adding myself to that, but apparently I did. So I can click on the word subscribed and I can select unsubscribe. And now when I go back to my notifications, if I have subscriptions turned on, I will get notifications for all of these sites, but I will not get them for that Catholicism one because, well, I just turned it off. I'm not subscribed to it anymore. Now, uh, there's a couple of quirks that you're going to want to pay attention to. Firstly, you're probably going to want to look at all of these. Uh, shared content for me is a big deal. I would like to know when somebody else shares my content. I'd like it. I would, don't mind having it pop up. So you'll make your own decisions on which ones of these to turn off. The text explanation is just as clear as day, so you can read it yourself. I won't spend your time on that. But here's the last quirk you need to pay attention to. A lot of people, including me, have multiple YouTube channels. And if you do, you need to change this on each one. So in my case, let me just show you what that means. I'm going to click on my UR Tech icon in the top right hand corner and I'll click switch account. And just before I do that, notice that I have subscriptions and recommended videos off and everything else on. So let's click switch account and I'll go to partisan issues and let's see what's on there. Ah, look, completely different. I've got subscriptions on, recommended videos, shared content. No, I do not want to be notified with these subscriptions and I do not want to know about these uh, recommended videos. I want that turned off. And you think, well, that's good. That, then, that, that makes some sense. Well, in my case, I have three accounts. So I have three channels. So I click on my name or the icon again and I click switch account and I have to go to, in my case, Ian Matthews, which is my other account. And I could turn again on or off any of these. So by making these changes, not only will you stop those pop-ups from occurring, but also in the not notifications pane in Windows 10 in the bottom right hand corner, when you click on it, your notification window won't be full of junk. It'll be full of stuff you actually care about. Now, if you found this video useful, we'd really appreciate it if you'd click like. That's very helpful with the Google algorithm. What's more helpful is what we were just talking about, subscribe, we'd love you to subscribe. Again, big help with the Google algorithm. And if you have a question, just put it in the comments below and we'll get back to you usually within a day. And you could always get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thanks for your time. Bye-bye.